Good evening, good evening. Hello. Hey everyone, how are you doing? How's everything going here? Hello. Hello. Good Monday. Have a nice week. How are you? Good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> how is your week start? How did it start? Did you have a nice one? Did you have a good Monday? No, not really? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you have a nice, uh, did you have a nice, what? A nice weekend, nice mm -hmm. Saturday, nice, nice Sunday, mm -hmm. or no? Mm -hmm. Not too much. Yes, I have a nice weekend. Good, that sounds super good. Hi, Milagro. Hi, Edith. How are you, girl? Hi. How are you? Everything good? Hi, thank you, teacher. Good. Really good to hear that. Hi, Sandra. I also see Sandra there. <laughs> okay. So, ¿cómo estuvo el fin de semana? ¿Listas para terminar módulo esta semana? Are you totally ready? Yes. Yes? Milagro? Teacher. Ready? Yes, Madeline? El siguiente módulo vamos a estar con usted. Eh, sorpresa. <laughs> That's going to be a surprise for you guys. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. So it is going to be a surprise, really. <laughs> All right. So gracias por estar acá. Thank you so much for, for being here, for the punctuality, the responsibility. All right. Terminamos el eh, módulo esta semana, así que hay que darle con todas las energías, intentar no faltar a clases, you know, and, uh, y estar el mayor tiempo que se pueda practicando. So, this is going to be our objective. Hi, hey, Christian, good evening. Hello. He didn't listen to me. <laughs> Hi, Christian, how are you? <laughs> Christian, you're mute, you're mute. I cannot hear you. Hi, good evening. Hi, uh, good evening. How are you? Fine. How was your weekend? How was your Saturday and Sunday? It's really bad. Oh, why? Why was it bad? Uh, because uh, with my family, we have a problem with my mom. Oh, but is everything okay? Uh, maybe, but I don't know. All right, well, I hope everything gets better, you know? Espero que cualquier situación que hayan tenido gets definitely better. So that's what matters, especially in these days, family is really important, right? So, um, well, we are going to get started, all right? Let's comparto acá mi pantalla. I'm gonna be sharing my screen. Today is, uh, let me see. Today is session number 16, all right, and today is August the 24th. So we are in the part of the, of the last unit, all right, and we are going to be working with this objective today. Participants will be able to describe location. So today, vamos a cambiar un poquito. We are going to change the, the chip a little bit. We stop talking about daily activities. Y vamos a hablar de lugares. We are going to talk about places, okay? Places near your house, places in a city. Eh, ahora que ya abrieron también, like, most of the places, we are going to talk about places. <laughs> so, we are going to be working with some prepositions of time and place, all right? And also some... Eh, some vocabulary as well. So here we have part of my friendly reminders, always your camera, please get your camera on in your homework daily. Gracias a todos por entregarme las tareas antes de el sábado, o right, el sábado tempranito, porque así también yo mando mis reportes. So thank you so, so much, all right. Eh, Francisco, hello, welcome. Sandra, hi there. 
Carolina, hello. How are hello. you? Hello, teacher. How are you guys? Hi. Everything good? Good, very good. Nice, nice. Francisco, is everything yes, okay? Good. Yes, all right. Super good, super good. So here we have some vocabulary. Vamos a comenzar with some vocabulary here. And I have some questions for you. So I need your help. I need everybody's help. It says here, where do you go to buy food? So the place that you see here, where do you go? Tell me some places. Díganme algunos nombres de lugares. Supermarket, yes. Walmart. Walmart, okay. El mercado. El mercado, the market, okay, the free market, yes. Any other place? Where do you go to buy food? So Walmart, a supermarket, a market. Otro lugar que se nos haya quedado. I'm sorry, Edith. Price Mart. Oh, Price Mart, okay, para grandes cantidades, right? So Price Mart, okay, okay, right. good, good, good. Next one, it says, which places in town start with the letter B? ¿Qué lugares que pueden encontrar como en una ciudad start with letter B? Here, I have my example. Bank, all right? So, a Bank of America. Give me examples of bank. ¿De qué banco se recuerdan? Which banks do you remember? The Vivienda. The Vivienda, all right. Scotiabank. Scotiabank, yes. Cuscatlán. Cuscatlán. Existe, yes, right? Hipotecario, all right. So they are banks, okay? So they Banco are banks. Industrial. Banco Industrial. Oh, that's new for me. Okay, Banco Industrial. Any other place? ¿Qué otro lugar encontramos in a city que comienza con la letra B? What letter, what place? It starts with letter B. Aparte de bank. Um, oh, I'm sorry, can you repeat? Boston, pero es una venta de helados. Boston, Boston. Ah, yes, where you buy ice cream. Guys, I'm sorry. Solo déjeme conectarme que creo que se me está cortando el inter. All right, so, okay, Boston. Okay, that's an ice cream shop. Bar. Bar, yes. How, how do you call? <laughs> ah, ah, you remember the weekend? <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so. Barber. No. A barber, okay, a barber shop. How do you call the place where, for example, El Rosario, um, any other, Rosville, eh, Bimbo? How do you call the places where you buy bread? Bakery. Bakery, excellent. Yes. So that begins with letter B. That's a bakery, super yes. good. Now let's take a look. So this is a barber shop, all right? It's a barber shop where you go and get your uh, beard shaved para los hombres, right? That's a barber shop. Uh, bus station, all right? Especially today, ya estaban llenas, so bus station. A bookshop, all right? And also we have a butcher. So let's take a look. A, Barber shop. Can you tell me names? Give me examples of barber shops. Any any name that comes to your mind? A barber shop? Algún lugar que les se recuerden? Any place? Any name? Okay. The mustache. The okay, the mustache. Okay. El bigotito. All right. Any other? Boys, you can help us here. Ruffians. Ruffians. Okay. Ruffians. Ruffians. All right. Any other? Catherine. Catherine. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> what about bus stations? What are the most uh, famous bus stations in San Salvador? Or the ones that you know? This is a bus station or a bus stop, right? So what are the most famous? La terminal bus. de Occidente. Okay, la terminal de Occidente. That's a bus stop. Uh, terminal Occidente. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say that in Spanish. Terminal de Occidente. That's all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other? 
Las terminales de Citram. Las de Citram, ok. So the new ones, all right. What about bookshop? This, on the corner, this is a bookshop. Can you give me examples of places where you can buy, where you can pay for a book? La Ceiba. La Ceiba. Oh, that's a beautiful place. Okay. <laughs> what else? So La Ceiba. Um, I, I think there, there was one called La Casita. Do you remember? Yes. La Casita, right? So La yes. Ceiba, La Casita. All right. Any other I, place? Había una que, que era bien famosa en el centro, ¿verdad? La Hispanoamérica. Era Hispanoamérica. Bien famosa. Okay. Interna international y Inter multiplaza. Okay, international, all right, Hispanoamérica, all right. So they are bookshops. So you pay for books. Okay, butter. I think we don't have a famous place of a butter. But butter is this one. So you can pay for uh, meat. You can pay for chicken. You can pay for all the meat you want, right? And that's famous. Now, look at this. Where do these people work? For example, what is his occupation? Player. He's... Uh-huh, he's a... Uh, he's, he's a layer, but... This is... Juez. Mm -hmm. He is a. How do you say juez in English? Judge. He's a judge. Exactly. He's a judge. So, where does he work? Where does he work? How do you call the place? Where does he work? Uh, eh, Pat, eh, Carolina? El juez, judge. Mm -hmm, a judge. And he works. ¿A dónde trabaja? Where does he work? How? Judicial center. Okay, that's a, a good way to call it. Or we can say court, right? So he works in the court. A judicial center. Okay, okay, that's okay. What about this person? What is his job? Fireman. Bombero. Ah, uh -huh. so he is a fireman. Fireman. And how do you call the place? He works in a fire station. Excellent. Yes, in a fire station. Exactly. Now, what is her job? He's a teacher. He's a teacher. Uh huh. So she is a teacher and she works in what? Where? At the college. School. At a in school, a school, college, mm -hmm. university. University. Kindergarten, okay, exactly, exactly, very good. And this woman, what about her? She, she is, is a doctor. doctor. She is a doctor, okay. Mm -hmm. Where she does she work? At a mm -hmm. hospital. Hospital. At a hospital, mm -hmm. In your clinic? In a clinic, very good, yes. Maybe in a school, we don't know. So in a hospital, in a school, in a clinic, okay. In, um, well, there are so many places. There are so many places. Now, do me a big favor. I want you to make a list, okay, of what is around your house. Which places do you find near your house? So, like this, okay, you are going to make a list similar to this. So, think, think a little bit. ¿Qué hay alrededor? What can you see around? <laughs> si solo son casas, no me le pongan houses, 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 ¿ok? So think about <laughs> more places, ¿ok? Lo que puede estar alrededor. So maybe a bus station, maybe a park, maybe a bank, maybe, uh, how do you say iglesia? Anybody knows? Church. Church. Super, thank you. So you can type it, please. So, si encuentran algún lugar nuevo, right, para que todos vayamos eh, compartiendo, you can type it in the chat and you can write the name of the place, you know. For example, this one is church. Uy. Oh, 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 give me a second. For example, we have church, all right. So, you can write it down. So, near my house, hay dos iglesias, so two churches or just church, all right. I will give you one minute. I will give you one minute. 
You can check your dictionary. Podemos revisar en el diccionario. You know, think a little bit. ¿Qué es lo que hay around? All right, are we finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, super, super good. So uh, give me, what do you have? Tell me, tell me, what do you have? Oh, I see that in- 11 place. Mm -hmm. 11, wow, there are a lot of things. In the chat, Sylvia has some examples. So Sylvia is sharing church, park, bus station, school, shops, and business. Okay, super good. Thank you, Sylvia. What about you guys? Tell me, what do you have? Park, restaurant, mm -hmm. barber shop. Okay. Um, tennis court. Oh, there is a tennis court. Nice, nice. And bas basketball court. How do you pronounce basket? A basket. Ah, uh -huh, yes, a basket yes. court. Uh huh. A basket. Okay. Mm-hmm. In school, bag, seafood salads, okay. uh, store wine. Okay. Shorts in the park. It sounds like Merliot because it's polideportivo around. Uh huh. So, okay, nice, <laughs> nice. So, there is a tennis court, a basketball court. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anybody else? ¿Quién tiene cosas diferentes? Who has different things? I have drugstore. A drugstore? Ice cream shop. Okay. A cape shop and car workshop. Okay, okay, very nice. So there is a car, car wash, right? Or car. A car workshop. Así ah, okay. Talleres, a talleres. workshop. Okay, okay. Yeah, I heard a car shop. I was not sure. Thank you, Francisco. Very nice. Okay. okay. Doris, what is there around your house? ¿Qué se encuentra? What can you see? Church, 
Okay. Park, mm -hmm. market, and supermarket. Bank, okay. pharmacy, gas station, uh -huh. bakery, okay. school. Wow, there are a lot of things. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Anybody else? Alguien tiene algo diferente? I don't know. A swimming pool. Eh, um, let me see. ¿Qué no hemos escuchado? What haven't we heard? Yo tengo restaurant. Okay. Supermarket, mm -hmm. church, college, pharmacy, parks, business, y banks. Uh, and that is around your house. Todo está alrededor. Everything is around your house. Mm -hmm. sí. Okay, okay, very nice. What about police station? ¿Alguien vive cerca de police station? A hospital? No? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, yes. okay. Hospital. A hospital. Sí. You have a sí. hospital close. Okay. Nice. Patricia, what do you have around? ¿Qué tiene el rey? What do you have? Uh, one church. Okay. Uh, two mall. Mm -hmm. uh, two pharmacy. Okay. Uh, uh, supermarket. All right. Gas station. Ah, gas station. Hospital. Hospital. Oh, there is a hospital. Okay, nice. Nice because you have important things around. So you have the hospital, like a gas station, a drugstore. Okay, super good. I have, that's difficult. I have a police station, a, a city hall. Near my house, there is a city hall. City hall. City hall. Okay, so in my house, there is a city hall. Any idea what is a city hall? Ah, uh, carcel. Uh, close, close. No, but no, I don't live near Mariona. Relax. <laughs> no, 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 no. There is no prison. There is no prison, but can be, can be. City hall. There is a city hall in San Salvador, one in Santa Tecla, one in Libertad. What is a city hall? Alcaldía. Municipalidad. Alcaldía, exactly. Mm -hmm. What we call alcaldía, municipalidad. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in my house, well, here around, there is a city hall, um, police station, a church, a park, and that's it. <laughs> so there is no supermarket, okay? Um, you mentioned something else that is prison. Okay, so a prison. I don't live near a prison. Alguien vive cerca de una prisión. I don't live near a prison. I don't live near a prison. So, Pero se puede pronunciar de otra forma, ¿verdad? Yo he visto como jail. Jail. Uh -huh. jail. Yes. So you can say prison or you can say jail. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there are different ways to call prison. They are the most common. Jail. I don't live near a jail, okay? So, but but I think it's not like, uh, I don't know. Supposedly, no hay señal cerca, right? So I'm not sure, I don't know. So I really need internet to survive, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. So here, we were talking about some places and we were talking about where these people work. For example, it says here, when you don't want to cook at home, you go to a restaurant. Can you give me examples of your favorite restaurants? What is your favorite restaurant? Um, or you can be a diner. Puede ser como un comedorcito pequeño, no problema. I mean, it's just fine. A diner. Do you have my a favorite? favorite uh -huh. My favorite restaurant is um, of um, seafood. Okay. In general. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> seafood. Seafood. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. My favorite place maybe is La Carreta Chillona for pupusas. Or <laughs> 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 yeah. So that's the name. What about your place? What's your favorite diner or restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Royal. Royal. What type okay. of food do you uh, get? China, China food. China. Ah, okay, okay. So that sounds good. Thank you. So Royal. Uh huh. Girls. And you? Boys and you? 
Christian, you are very quiet today. So, <laughs> Christian is super quiet. What's your favorite place, Christian? Uh, my favorite place for it is Tony Romas. Oh, okay, so ribs. Um, okay. <laughs> We'll so you like ribs. Okay, you like ribs. Nice. That's all right. Let's just move on. Mm. Take a look. The heart of the city mm. is usually, what is this? How do you call this? Mm. How do you call the, the heart of the city. What do you see? What do you see? The a heart. Park. A park, probably. Okay, this is a park. What about San Salvador? The heart of San Salvador is maybe Centro Historico, right? That is super beautiful. La Catedral. Ah, La Catedral. So we call it the square. So the square is como la placita, all right? So the square. A large shop that sells clothes, household appliance, etc. Can you give me some examples of this? What is this? Mall. A mall, all right. A shopping center. A shopping center, okay. A shopping mall, all right. For example? Siman. Okay, Siman. Sears. Sears, okay. Sambors. Sambors. Sambors, okay, all right. There was another, but I don't remember. So this is called a department store. Department store, son todos aquellos que tienen como departamentos chiquitos, right? So the ones you mentioned, todos yes. se llaman department store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they sell shoes, they sell clothes, they sell every type of thing. So department store. What is this? What, how do you call this place? Airport. Yes. Do you live near an airport? ¿Alguien vive cerca del aeropuerto? Do you live near an airport? No? No. Oh. Oh, all right. Oh. So, yeah, this is an airport. So, also, it's related to this. So, take a look. If you go sightseeing, you will probably see. Tenemos otros lugares, all right? Si van a, como a caminar. So, probably you will see. And everybody, let's repeat. Museum. Museum. Mm. Zoo. 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 Botanical park. Botanical Park. Aquarium. Aquarium. Gallery. Gallery. Library. 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 Can you give me examples of library? Library. Can you give me some examples? Remember, tenemos bookshop. For example, la ceiba. So a, a, a library is not a bookshop. Aranda. Aranda, mm, that's a bookshop, that's a bookshop, that's not a library. No es, es library. Moderna. Mo la mm, that's a bookshop, that's a bookshop, that is not a la library. Moderna. moderna, that's a bookshop. Can you give me another example of a library? Biblioteca. No. Yes, that's a biblioteca, so a library <laughs> is a biblioteca. For example, the one that UCA has. Uh, any other biblioteca nacional, right? So that is a library. So in El Salvador, creo que no hay muchas. There are not too many. Next, we have theater and we have cinema. So theater, let's repeat. Theater. 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 Cinema. 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 All right. Van a ir al cinema soon. Will you go to the cinema soon? No, no, <laughs> no, right, not yet. So recently, han ido alguno de ellos durante la cuarentena, during this quarantine. No, right? No. Oh. To the shopping mall? Did you go to the shopping mall today? No? Nice. <laughs> you didn't go to the shopping mall. All right. And, and you better don't. All right. So you better don't. Okay. So let's take a look. It says here. Describe the location of my and other workplace. So, vamos a trabajar a little bit describing some workplace. It says here, 
Listen to your teacher. Read the following places from the map. So me van a ayudar a repetir. Let's repeat everybody. Bank. 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 Sport Palace. Sport, Sport Palace. Palace. School. School. Mall. Mall. Park. 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 Church. Church. City Hall. City, City Hall. Book World. Book World. Book World. A Rose Company. A Rose Company. company. Restaurant. 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 Okay, very good. I'm going to give you 15 seconds. Le voy a dar solamente 15 segundos. Look at the picture. No, le, no escriban nada. Don't write anything. No le tomen captura tampoco. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Look at them. Look at them. Y vamos a hacer un test de memoria. We're going to try to see how your memory is going there. So 15 seconds. Okay, time is over. Now, everybody, I need you, I need you to draw it. Necesito que lo dibujen. I want you to draw it, all right? On your notebook, on a piece of paper, intenta recordarse, try to remember. Y si no se recuerdan, if you don't remember, escriban cualquier cosa que se les venga a la mente, cualquier otro lugar, all right? So, try to draw it, try to draw it. Les voy a dar un minutito. I'll give you only one minute. Okay, I'll give you like 10 seconds more and we will check in just a quick second. Okay, everybody, so tell me, what places do you remember? De que se recuerden? What do you remember, guys? Bank. Okay, bank. Mall. Yes. Restaurant. 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 Park. Uh -huh. Church. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Bank. School. Okay, super good. Super good. I got a question. Veamos que tanta atención pusieron. What are the names of the street? A street Barrios and Street uh, Roosevelt. Oh, one point for you, good girl. Okay, so Barrios and Roosevelt. Okay, let's take a look. Take a look one more time. So we have, yes, okay, super good. So we have Barrios Street and we have Roosevelt Street. Very nice. Also, we have First Avenue and Second Avenue, all right? So we have all these places. So, ¿los lograron poner todos? Were you able to put all of them? Yes. Yes? Okay, okay, super nice, super, super good. 
Now, listen up, listen up. Vamos a describir location. We are going to describe a dónde es que están estos lugares, where these places are. Based on this map, I have some questions for you. Which street, which street is the restaurant on? So, vamos a usar esto. It is on. <coughs> so, which street um. is the restaurant on? It is on, y necesito el nombre de la calle. What do you Roosevelt think? Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt or Barrios? What on do you Barrios. Where is no, Roosevelt. No, Roosevelt. Roosevelt Street. Restaurant. Roosevelt yes. Street. Barrios Street. No. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Roosevelt. Okay, where is the restaurant? The restaurant is right here. It's on the corner. So, ¿en qué calle está? What is the street? Roosevelt, Roosevelt. Street. Uh -huh. So, it is on Roosevelt Street. Exactly. Roosevelt. Very good. Very good. Next. Which street is the city hall? ¿Qué significa city hall? What is the meaning of city hall? Municipalidad. Uh -huh. Ajá. Municipalidad o alcaldía. alcaldía. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. So, which street is the city hall on? ¿Cómo se llama la calle? What is Second the name of the street? Second Avenue. Ah, Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Ah, second Avenue. Let's take a look, let's take a look. City Hall, all right, it's right here. Podemos usar Roosevelt todavía. So we mm -hmm. can use it is on Roosevelt Street or it is on the Second Avenue. Very nice. Good, good, Carolina. All right, next. Which street is the park on? The park. Between First Avenue and Second Avenue. Between First Avenue and Second Avenue. Okay, that's good. And street? <laughs> what about a street? Barrios and Roosevelt Street. In Barrios, uh -huh, and Roosevelt. Between Barrios and Roosevelt Street. Yeah, actually, it's in the medio, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, very good. It is between the First Avenue and the Second Avenue, or it is between Barrios, Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. Okay, it's, so mm -hmm. it's like, it's in the medio, it's in the middle. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Now I have a little exercise. I have a little exercise. Oh. I have a little exercise, guys, for you. Give me a second. Espero que no hayan visto la respuesta. <laughs> so. So I'm going to be sharing these with you. And we are going to try to complete this in groups. So let's take a look. It says here, read the clues and fill in the missing letters. Number 16 is really difficult, pero vamos a hacer hasta la 10, all right? So here is la descripción. You can see the description of the place. Here, tiene los espacios en blanco. So you have to try to complete it. For example, let's go for something easy. Uh, oh, this is super easy. Number six. You can see lots of animals here. What is the zoo. name of the place? Zoo. zoo. Exactly. Zoo. zoo. So you have to find the name of the place. All right. So vamos a hacer grupos. We are going to make some groups to make it faster. And I'll give you some minutes. You can use your dictionary, but les recomendaría usar solo a los compañeros. Talk to your classmate. Find the answer and then we come back. So I will give you four minutes to complete the exercise. Please join the groups. Get over there, get over there. Join the groups. Gabby and Sylvia are already there. Thank you guys. So go for the groups. Go there, go there. Hello, Jacira. Jacira, Jacira, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm not so so, teacher. It's my hat. 
It's yeah. a, hard, a hard day, a difficult day? Uh, yes, it's a... Um, que padezco de migraña, teacher, y eso es un... Entonces, como que el reflejo de eso me molesta mucho. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Lamento escucharlo, Yacira. Pero muchas gracias por conectarse, por hacer el esfuerzo de estar acá, you know. Eh, quizás para, quizás bájale todo el brillo, you know, lower all the brightness you can, eh, y tal vez escuchando, right, tal vez podemos eh, utilizar un poquito más el oído para que uh -huh. nos, nos ayude a little bit more. So la voy a, uh -huh. la voy a agregar a este grupo para que podamos también practicar con estos chicos. So, uh -huh. va a haber la invitación por ahí, y mil gracias, gracias por estar acá, okay. realmente se lo agradezco. Thank you, thank you. Okay, teacher. I'm sending you the invitation. Um, okay. Silvia también ya le mandé la invitación. En Milagro ya también le, le mandé la invitación. Solo me confirma si la logran ver, please. Pharmacy. Can you still hear? Can you hear? Ah, sí. Y sabe que está como que Batman le dice. No, ¿qué pasó? Me dejaste morir. Está como The Dark Knight Rises, como, como el, el. I don't remember the name in Spanish. But El Caballero de la Noche. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Zach, how are you? Ya vaya, ve que la que él la tenía apagada. Soy yo, no le escucho. No, no se escucha. Ah, okay. Pero le he estado escuchando, habla ah. Isaac. Hello, good evening. Hey. Hey, hey there. How are you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Can you hear us? ¿No lo escuchar? Yes, yes. Okay, super good. So, no se escuchaba. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok. Entonces se escuchó no, 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 Era de Dark Knight. <laughs> From Batman. Ok. So, Isaac. Eh... Vamos. Gracias a vos. 
All right, so. ¿De qué se termina? Are you about to finish? Le falta number bastante. three is. Number, number three. Pharmacy. Ah, okay, okay. So if you need some help, let me know. Okay. Hey guys, hello, hello, good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Good How are you? Way. How's everything? Fine. Fine. Oh, fine. Nice to have fine. you. Carolina, so nice to see you. Sí, <laughs> I'm so yeah, happy ya to me see you. Mejor. ¿Cómo está? Sí. Ya mejor. Ya mejor. Ah, mm. super bien, super, super bien. Pero gripita le había dado, ¿no? Y este que, gracias hey. a Dios, era una como rinitis alérgica. Híjole. Pero como ahora todos lo están como sospechoso, vea. Sí, lo tomaron Entonces, como Por eso COVID. me habían dado incapacidad, pero realmente ah. no tuve fiebre, gracias a Dios, ni tos, ni... O sea, era más... Solo la molestia. Tripales, no, estaba uh -huh. eh, súper tapada en la nariz, no podía respirar, pero no era por por respirar de que no podía, sino Ajá. que eh, tapada, o sea, estaba súper tapada. Le, se le había congestionado quizás. Se le había congestionado. Híjole. Bueno, pero ya le escucho mejor, así que espero que, que, sí. ya esté, que ya esté mejor. Un día me hablaron de ahí Ajá. y el muchacho me dice, uy, qué bonita está, me sí, estaba lo, super sí, siempre le dan seguimiento cuando alguien nos falta porque... La verdad es que nos preocupa, ¿verdad? Y, y es bien importante sí. tener la asistencia de todos porque trabajamos precisamente para que ustedes logren el objetivo que tienen. Entonces, todo va enfocado en ustedes. Así no, que por yo eso. A, yo, a mí el medicamento me doblaba. Ay, como, sí. es, como es alérgico, entonces ese medicamento es eh, clorfenidamina o súper fuerte. Entonces, de hecho, yo no tomo eso porque lo tomo. Otra. Y me siento bien tonta. Sí, ajá. Ajá, prefiero satiricina, como creo. Ajá. Unas seis pastillas, o sea, ajá. cada ocho horas, horrible. Bueno, pero lo importante es que no fue COVID, sí, ajá, que ya está Dios. mejor, que ya se oye bien. Gracias bien. a Dios que ya estamos bien. Mr. Murcia, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? ¿Ya descansado? No, no he dormido. No moleste. <risa> ¿Y eso? En serio. He Yo tenido una bastante. semana de parciales. Ah, sí. parciales. Trabajo y parciales y Bayonito, tareas sí. y es como que ni sí. modo. You need, to, you need to, amiga, I know that is important, pero si necesita like un par de minutitos para usted, right? So that is super important because al final también, you know, tiene consecuencias. So guys, eh, ¿cómo vamos con, con el vocabulario? How are you doing there? Ya casi terminan, sí, necesitan sí. más tiempo. Sí, sí. Ah, Hopefully. super. Wow, el segundo. Nice, nice, nice. Ok, so <risa> if you went, regresamos a la sesión principal. Let's go back. Sí. Solo déjenme ver cómo van los sí, demás. Sí. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Christian. Como una tienda, dice que es. Me sentís mal. Uh -huh. Nos puede mencionar si ya, ya tiene todas. Ajá, comestibles es. Ajá. Ajá, vaya. Pues el por un me dijiste. Pues sí que puedes comprar las groceries, las... Bueno, sí, vea. Ah, caso, no, olvídalo. Es que no, no, no. Pensé que era lo de you can buy medicine. No, no, en no, todo es caso, la grocer groceries es como chucherías. Hey guys, uh, well, answering your question, no, groceries son todos los de primer, de primera necesidad, you know, for example, beans, rice, sugar, so cuando se dice, I'm going to buy groceries, es como lo que realmente necesita, things that you need, so I go Christian. shopping, but things that you need. Cristian, hola, me escuchas, ahí hola. en la número dos es supermarket, ah, es bello. Bye, hey, bye, Wendy, bye. nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Hi, okay. Gaby. Hola. Hi, Gaby. Y la nueve, no, no milagro. Worries, no worries. You can see a doctor here. Teacher, ¿me escucha? Sí, hombre. Yes, bye. milagro, I can hear you. Tell me. ¿Por qué me sacaron? ¿De dónde, milagro? ¿Qué? O sea, me sacaron de aquí de la pantalla, o sea, me tuve que volver a ingresar porque me sacaron. Mejor, porque aquí nos hacía falta gente, por eso la saqué mm, yo. El MC la pasé para acá. 
No, Milagro, no la han sacado, pero creería que durante el proceso de invitación quizás se desconectó. That's what I think. Porque me había quedado como en el limbo intentando conectarse. Pero gracias por vol volver a conectarse, así que no worries. Gracias por estar acá. Thank you. Creí so que ella no me quería, teacher. Ay, no, ¿cómo crees, Milagro? Si la queremos acá. We want you here. <ríe> no, how do you think so? No, sí. yo sí vi que, se, que me estaba tomando notas ahí eh, y me vine a monitorear. No sé si por eso se, se me quedó. Quizás solito. por eso me sacó, dije yo, porque no, no me quiere ir aquí en el grupo. De hecho, no puedo sacar a nadie, así que no. <ríe> no, Milagro, no worries. We want you here. Eh, chicos, ya casi terminan. Are you about to finish? ¿Les falta mucho? Como hoy le pedí ayuda y no, no, no me, no me, no me hizo caso. Eh, bueno, de, eh, desde anoche le mandé un mensaje. Ah, pero le contesté. I answered you. Me contestó. Ya ve. Hoy ya bien tarde. Ya ve, no lo he visto. <risa> no, sí lo vi, pero usted estuvo ahí conectada y dije yo, ah, no me quiero <risa> <ver> mi mensaje. <risa> no, Milagro, I'm sorry. Lo que sucede es que trabajo todo el día. Salgo hasta como a las 5 y creo que fue la hora que le contesté. So, during the day, no, no puedo usar mi teléfono para, para cuestiones personales. That's why. Pero le contesté. ¿no? Okay. Así que téngame paciencia. You know, be patient with me. <risa> No, pero si necesita ayuda, ya sabe que ahí estoy. So, yes. Yo creo, Cristian, que la 9 es clinic. Clinic, yes. Chicos, one more no me había minute, and then we go back. Um, okay, everybody, thank you so much for coming back. Um, give me just a second. Creo que me hace falta alguien. I'm missing somebody. No. All right. Yeah, we are. Well, me hacen falta varios. Okay, good. So help me with the answers, please. Help me with some of the answers that we have here. So number one, you can borrow a book here. ¿Cómo se llama? What is the name of the place? Number one. Library. 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 Excellent. Library. Number one is a library. Number two, you can buy groceries here. Supermarket. supermarket. Excellent. What is the meaning of supermarket? Supermercado. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Groceries. That was the word. What's the meaning of groceries? Comestible. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Exactly. Three, you can buy medicine. What is the name Pharmacy. of the Pharmacy. 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 Yes. Four, you can study here. School. It's super easy. School. Yes, it's cool. Five, you can see all things here. What is the name? Museum. Uh -huh. Museum. Museum. Very good. This is a museum. Six, we have the answer. This is the zoo. Number Two. seven. Two. Two. Baker. Two. <laughs> Number seven, bakery. bakery. Yes, bakery. Number eight. You can keep Bank. your money. Bank. 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 Yes. You can see a doctor. Number nine. Clinic. 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 And number 10, like what you do, you can exercise gym. in gym. Gym. In a gym. gym. Do you go to the gym? No. No. My house. In your, oh, but you do exercise. No, in this no. moment. Not in this moment. I never do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. I need to. Okay. Um, antes de seguir, solo déjenme pasar asistencia rapidito and then we continue because we have some parts here. Me ayudan solamente con la verbal confirmation. Today is the 24th. Eh, Isaac, no, Christian, sorry. Christian. Solo me ayudan con la confirmación, chicos, que no logro ver la pantalla. Present. Thank you. Eh, Isaac. Present. Thank you. Edith. Present. Thank you. Eh, Isela. Uy, present. Thank you. Thank you, Isela. 
Eh, eh, Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Yasira. Present. Thank you. Silvia. <coughs> Creía haber visto a Silvia por ahí. le escribió present. Ah, ok. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I cannot see that. Eh, Francisco Pineda. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Eh, Patricia. Present. Thank you. Sandra. Present. Thank you. Herson. Oh, what's wrong with Herson? He's not here. La vamos a escribir. What's wrong? What's wrong? Creo que no ha faltado ninguna. All right. Eh, Madeline. La puerta. <laughs> Present. Yeah. Thank you. Doris. Present. Thank you. Doris, tampoco nunca me ha faltado. Perfect attendance. Nice. Madeline, tampoco, right? Karen. Karen, Karen, creo que bien. Karen. Thank you, Karen. Milagros. Milagros, right there. Uy. No le escucha, quizá. No, but she's right there. Okay. Present. Thank you, Milagro. Eh, Wendy. Present. Thank you. And then I have Francisco Murcia. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, okay. Okay, everybody. So let's continue. If we already checked some of these places. I got you, Silvia. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Okay, now let's let's move on with the next part. And here we have some prepositions of place. Normally, usamos prepositions de tiempo. But today, vamos a trabajar con prepositions of place, all right? Para indicar a dónde. For example, last time, alguien me preguntaba, pero si yo digo I work, puedo decir I work in or I work at. Here, tenemos algunas de las answers that we can give. So, at. Eh, let me see, let me see. Isela, please, ayúdeme con at. Help me read examples of at. The meeting from... This one. At work. Eh, Isela, you are mute. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. That's it's okay. It, that's it. <laughs> it's okay. Only, only help me read them. Solo ayúdeme a leerlos. The, okay. The at. at the meeting room, mm -hmm. at work, at the bank. All right. Thank you. What about in? In El Salvador. No, no, dele. <laughs> in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Okay. Thank you, thank you, very good, exactly. Wendy, can you help me with on? On 4th Avenue. Mm -hmm. On the corner, mm -hmm. on the street. Okay, very good, so let's take a look. Cuando utilizamos on, when do we use on? Based on the example? Como para calles. Para calles, all right. So, streets. Avenue and corner, exactly, para las esquinas. In, what about in? ¿Cuándo usamos in? Para países. Para países, yes. Ciudades. Ciudades, exactly. Son un poquito más grandes, right? So, a little bit Lugares. Bigger. Lugares, pero un poquito más grandes, right? And what about okay. at? ¿Cuándo usamos at? Lugares específicos. Eh, lugar, lugar en específico. Específico, lugar, uh -huh. Exactly, Place, exactly. Uh -huh. Specific places, exactly, very good. Okay. Now let's take a look. Complete the location of each item using the correct preposition of place. So remember, on, por lo general es para calles, all right, avenues, all right. In, pueden ser lugares, ciudades, un poco más grandes, más extenso. And at es super específico, where. So, for example, number one, I work in the bank that is First Avenue and Barrios Street. ¿Qué hace falta? What is missing? On, on. or at? On. Exactly, on. Y aparte que dice Avenue and Street. Tiene ambas, right? 
So I will give you like two minutes and uh, complete the exercise. Son solo cinco. Well, seis. So I'll give you like two, three minutes. The factory is located in ECU training. ECU. Teacher, tengo una duda con la sexta. Uh, tell me, what is your question? Eh, no sé si será que el ad está bien ahí o, o le hace falta algo. No, eh, ad is part of the answer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Number six okay. is a gift, is a present. <laughs> yeah, okay. don't worry about number six. So tell me when you finish so we can compare. Finish. All right. Okay, let me take a look at the chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. All right, let's do it. So we got two. Done. Isela, thank you. All right, so we got three. Let's take a look. Thank you, Wendy. All right, very good. Let's take a look. Number one, we said on because it says avenue and street. Number two, their factory is located on, in, at. What is the correct answer? In. In. In La Libertad, exactly, in La Libertad. So I live in La Libertad, for example. <laughs> Number three. We see you at, at, at a training room, a training room. Mm -hmm. In or? Aha, uh -huh. okay, let's take a look, let's take a look. Because here, as in faltados, we are missing two. There are yes. two blank spaces. Okay, so let's take a look. What do you have? Space number one, we see you. In. Okay, in, a, uh, in the training room. Okay, I see you in training room. Que es un poco más grande, right? Or at, at, at the cafeteria. At. Exactly. So I see you in the training room or at the cafeteria. Okay, that okay. is all right. That's okay. Number four. Anna works in the company that is. In town, in, in town, in. at town, at town is pequeñito. In, in town, in. Ah, in town, es un pueblo, entonces in town. So in uh, town. Anna works in the company in, in town, mm -hmm. in town. In. Number five, my relatives go to the mall that is on, on, on. 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 exactly. Ven ahí straight on, all right. And number six, ya está resuelta. Tell oh. him that we. Yeah. At the meeting at room, exactly. So yes, that's the respuesta. Ahí. You don't have to do anything there. There is nothing for you to do. Okay, very good. Here we have this part. Create a role play in pairs, explaining where you work. Okay. 
So the location, the city, and present it to the class. Vamos a crear una pequeña, like, a little conversation, a little role play, explaining what you were. Si no quieren hablar de su empleo real, all right, pueden incluir información falsa. For example, uh, I work in Hollywood, okay? So mm -hmm. I work, la idea es que utilizamos in, on, and, y más vocabulario de lugares, all right? Or you can say, for example, I work in, dígame un lugar famoso, guys, donde le gustaría trabajar. Where would you like to work? Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not familiar with the places. So, okay, you can say, oh, okay, I work in Hollywood. I work on, y pueden mencionar el nombre de las calles, right? So what about you? Podemos inventarlo o podemos hacerlo real. Whatever you prefer, whatever is fine for you. So, y luego lo presentamos. We are going to present this. So practice tanto como podamos de tal manera que les salga lo más natural que se pueda, all right? Um, uy, se me quedó solo. Okay. Give me just a quick second. Le voy a enviar la invitación. I'm going to send you an invitation. Vamos a hacerlo en parejas. We are going to do this in pairs. Y algunos se me van a quedar de tres. So, okay, here we are. Give me a second. Give me just a quick second. Mm -mm. Okay, there we go. Okay, everybody, so join it, prepare your conversation, and then we come back y la presentamos. We will be presenting this. So have fun, enjoy it, and practice your English. Go, go, go. Go, everybody. Thank you. Where are you work? Where are you work? I work. No, where at... do you work? Where are? Where are you work? Where do you work? Where are you work? Where do you work? No, you Where no se puede. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you eh, lo que sucede es que no lo hemos visto, pero tendría que ser where are you working? But, estás trabajando? Eh, sí, pero como no sabemos responderle todavía, lo más adecuado es que no lo utilicemos, right? Okay. But, pero sí se puede, I mean, pero sería where are you working? Lo que no se puede es decir where are you work? Eso de are y luego el verbo solito no se puede. Se le agrega un ing al siguiente. Entonces la pregunta más sí. adecuada es where do you work? ¿A dónde trabajas? Uh -huh. 
Where do you work? Okay. I work at, wait, I'll say primer, at Feed mm -hmm. the Children. Really? Yes. I didn't know. Okay, okay. So you work at Feed the Children. That is an NGO, right? Yes. Ah, okay, nice. Are you a social worker? I don't understand what it is. A, a social worker, una trabajadora social. No. Are you a social worker? I am an accountant. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. You're an accountant. Yes. I, I, I'm I stay in administration department. Oh, okay. Okay. So you stay in the office. Yes. Only office. But it's okay. It's just fine. But, but, but I don't know. I have always wanted to work in an NGO. <laughs> And I thought that you were a social worker. That's nice. That's okay. Super, super good. Yes. Christian, I work at Feed the Children. Feed the Children. Feed. Con doble E. Así, alimentar. Feed the Children. Contestame. Ya sabía. Ajá. I feed the children. Okay. Okay, really? Uh, what is the location? What is, is the see what is the location? Y en español qué significa eso? ¿Cuál es la dirección? Vaya, entonces what is the location? Así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, yo te voy a contestar. The address of my work is... Uh -huh. 45. Teacher, vaya, si yo quiero decir 45 Avenida Sur, no es ordinal, ¿verdad? Es 45. Eh, no, de hecho, so, sí tendría que ser eh, ordinal, tendría que ser 45. 45. 45. Como la 49 o 45. Ajá. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to write it in the 45 chat. 45 Avenida. 45 Sur. and then 45. 45. Pero se pronuncia 45. Por el fifth. Fifth. Mm -hmm. es el quinto, fifth. Vaya, y en español es Avenida Sur. En inglés so, sería South Avenue. Avenue. Mm -hmm. Avenue. South Avenue, yes. So it's the other Entonces, way around. Um, the address. Well, in El Salvador, addresses are not very common, but <laughs> in El Salvador, we simply say. In between the, in uh -huh, we, we give different uh, with different addresses so que genial que se pueda su dirección <laughs> i don't know my address <laughs> in my place you know it's like a la par del mango que está en la esquina you know and that's it <laughs> Uh, all right. Sí, parece que nunca no we never get it we never get it all right okay guys i let you work let me see and let me check the other guys how they're doing okay como on the corner on, on the corner CNR teacher como sería como queda en la esquina del CNR it's on the corner it is mm -hmm. it is on on the corner CNR in the corner of uh -huh, it is on the corner of CNR ya yeah, sería CNR siempre no cambia CNR it is on the corner of CNR. Y le puedo agregar between. Mm -hmm. Between. Between. Eh, between. Es que no sé cómo dar la dirección. Between. Uh, no, oh. por, por el momento no, no se preocupe mucho en direcciones. De hecho, todavía no estamos dando like, addresses. Pero sí puede utilizar on, por ejemplo, y puede decir el nombre de la calle para hacerlo a little bit on. simple. Ah, ok. 
on the street. Pero puede ser así como, it is on the corner of CNR, on the street, eh, no, on the avenue, on the avenue, eh, on the avenue San Martín. Oh, on avenue San Martín. Yeah, yeah, you can use it, you can use it. Oh, yes, it is asking for me. Yes, you can use that one. Girls, give me just a second, so yes, it is asking for help. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. So I'm y... here. Hi, Yasira. Hi, Francisco. Tell me. Eh, Francisco, no, no. Solo yo estoy, teacher. What? Really? Let's see what happened to Francisco. Bye, no worries. Le voy a cambiar. I'm going to send you to another group. Oh, Francisco. Hi. Okay. Yes. Hey, Mr. Murcia. Yes, How are you? Don't worry, don't worry. Gracias por regresar. Thank you so much. Okay. ¿Qué estaba haciendo? Las tareas. Una tarea. Don't worry. No, okay. So, with Yasira, estamos uh -huh. practicando la in, on, at para dar eh, addresses. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, practice just for a little while. Practican por unos cinco minutitos y luego, luego regresamos, right? ¿Y es necesario llevar el at, on, o solo puede ir y... Lo que sucede es que la idea es utilizarlos correctamente, pero por ejemplo, Yacira, cuando se pregunta, hey, where do you work? And you say, oh, I, I work at, llevo el primer at. For example, I work at oh. Inglés Corporativo, llevo el primero. And then you can ask, ¿y a dónde está Inglés Corporativo? Where is Inglés Corporativo? Oh, it is on. Yeah. Por ejemplo, teacher, es, I am, I am at uh, Univision. Morning, I gorgi at uni, Univision. Mm -hmm. Morning, news from its location in, in Perl, eh, Avenue, Perlan, Pasadena, oh. in, the seat, in the city of Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, but since, como es una conversación, tenemos que agregarle un poquito de diálogo, right? So, for example, Francisco lo puede entrevistar. Hey, Yasira, eh, what do you do? Where do you work? So, what is the location? What is the address? Entonces, usted le dice, oh, I work for Univision, right? Okay. Eh, I think it's fine. Solo agregamosle un poquito de interacción. So, like, the idea is to practice, guys. I'll give you five minutes, and then we go back. So, five, five mm -hmm. minutes. Okay. A.M. to 5 p.m. I arrive at my home later. ¿Qué dije? <laughs> Hello. Que trabaja por el aeropuerto. <laughs> hey, girls. ¿Cómo les está yendo? How are you doing here? Casi lo tenemos. Are you about to have it? Yes. Sí, pero bien pequeñito. Uh, agregamos la interacción. Let's try to add some interaction entre Karen, Sandra y usted. I mean, don't do it like alone, sino pregúntele, for example, ¿dónde vives? Where do you live? ¿Y a dónde trabajas? Where do you work? ¿Y a dónde está? Where is it? Right? Okay. Para que podamos agregarle un poquito más. For mm. example, eh, Karen, where do you work? I work in San Salvador. Ah, okay. eh, near um, at Salvador del Mundo. Ay, very nice. Where, where? Where is it? What is the name of the company? Eh, Aqualimpia. Uh, what is that? <laughs> eh, it's ¿Dónde, dónde, verdad? No, no, no. What, what? Ah, ok. What? Uh, at Solution and, uh, and, consultor, and Consultoría. Soluciones. Mm -hmm. um, consultoría. Consulting. Consulting. Uh -huh. consulting um, uh -huh. Eh, aguas residuales. 
Uh -huh. Karen, what do you do? What is your job? I, I, I job in marketing. Ah, okay. So you are from marketing. Okay, nice. So the name of the company, what is the name of the company again? Aqualimpia. Aqualimpia. Where is Aqualimpia? Like on what, what is the name of the street? A name on a street is... Um, because it's Salvador del Mundo, you said. So maybe Roosevelt? Mm, no. Is Alameda? Uh huh. La Enrique Araujo. Sí. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, ah, okay, so, so if you pay attention, estamos utilizando calles, entonces, oh, it is on, está sobre la Alameda en el Quebrajo, so you can use, se pueden usar todas estas proposiciones, you know, the idea is to make it the more natural, como si realmente están hablando con un American y tengan que contarle a dónde trabajan, all right, <laughs> so where do you work, all right, so you can do it, girls, you can do it, but let's practice, let's practice. Practice until you make it. So let's go, let's go, let's go. So Sandra, you will start. Imagínese que entreviste, I mean, imagine that you're asking questions to Milagro and to Karen. <laughs> Entonces sería más o menos como, hello Milagro, how are you? Hi, thank you, Sandra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Sandra. Nice. Uh, where do you work? I work on the street to the airport. Okay. Is that for real? <laughs> Milagro, mm. is, is that for real? Oh, no sé qué es esa, teacher. For real, like de verdad. Is that for real? No, usted dijo que lo inventáramos. No, I know, I know. I, I'm just asking. Solo pregunto, yeah. Ok, ok. No, I'm take it easy. I know. Go, go. I know, I know, go. In, in a airport. Ah, ok. Ok, I see. No, I mean, it's quite fine. It's quite fine. Claro que se lo puede inventar. No worries. Ok. Uh, Patricia is here. Ok, girls. La dejo practicar a little uh -huh. bit more. Get ready. Y ya vamos. Hicimos entre primera calle o entre segunda. Ay, sí funciona. Sobre la calle está. Ay, está solo para... Uh -huh. Hi, guys. How are you? Consulta, eh, si queremos decir sobre, por ejemplo, sobre la primera calle poniente, está bien. Yeah, you can use on. Remember, ajá, so on. Yes, entonces on. Ajá. On, ah, pues sí, pues es que esa era la duda, teníamos duda. On first sobre... street, on second street, on the first south street, north street, so... In El Salvador, it's not very common. In El Salvador, no nos podemos los nombres de calles. Pero es uh -huh. super genial. It's super, super good, si se lo sabe. Yeah, so, of course. No. You can use uh -huh. on. <laughs> is that? So, ¿puedes los nombres de calles? Do you know the names of the streets? Eh, no muy bien con la nomenclatura, pero ah, algunas. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible, you know. You just tell me from Metro Centro, up, down, and that's it. <laughs> I'm terrible. Carolina, oh no, she's not listening. Oh yeah, she is. Carolina, are you good with the streets? Do you recognize the names of the streets? Reconoce las calles. Do you recognize the names? No le Tiene lento el internet. Sí, creo que tiene un poquito de lag. Sí, pero me? yo creo que sí, solo nos podemos. Ustedes me, ustedes me escuchan, que yo hear sí. me. 
Sí, okay. yes. sí. yo creo que entonces es un poquito de lagging, que es un poquito retrasado, ¿verdad? Right? Ajá. Yes. Ah. Pero creo que nosotros los salvadoreños somos más de puntos de referencia que de, yeah. que de calles. Ajá. A la esquina, a la vuelta, al arbolito. Ajá. Cabal, cabal. That's, that's the way, yeah, that's the Me way. Puedo varias, puedo ah, varias. Okay. Pero les reconoce. Cuando uno anda manejando, se puede todo. O sea, eh, me, cuando le toca, a mí me toca ir a dejar a los niños. A, ahora ya mi hijo mayor ya no, vea, porque él va a la universidad, él se lleva a su carro. Pero cuando me tocaba irlos a dejar, él anda a traer donde los compañeros a dejar. But, but, do you recognize the names, como el nombre propio de la calle? De sí. avenida no sé qué, la calle primera, no sé qué. Ajá, uh -huh. do you la recognize? La calle Poniente. Wow, wow, I admire you. Okay. Pero no uh -huh. toda, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí, no, no, pero tiene punto de referencia, eso es súper good. That's nice. I'm not, you know, I'm not like that. I'm like, okay, dígame un lugar y dibújemelo de ser posible. Ajá, <laughs> literal. I don't get there. Ajá, yo me pierdo, you know. Sí, yo agarro en los mapas, agarro al revés la dirección siempre. No sé por qué, yo no me logro ubicar. Oh, I can read maps. Con mapas no tengo problema. Mi problema yo es sí. places. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, oh, I'll give you three more minutes y luego regresamos. So three okay. more minutes. Si ya lo tiene listo, solo practiquémoslo one more time, right? Okay. Uh, let me just take a look at this girls. Hello, hello. Hey, Silvia, are you here? Hi, Adit. Did, did you have the Did you have the chance to speak to Silvia? Do you have Do you have audio, Silvia, or do you have microphone? Le han sacado ah, una muela, teacher. Entonces no speak. True. Oh, it's true. I remember last last week, right? <laughs> Los tuvimos haciendo así, yo hablando y ella me escribió en el chat. Ah, vaya, super, super. That's okay. That's okay. Gracias, Silvia, por unirse. Thank you so much for being here. Sí, recuerdo que la semana pasada me dijo que estaba a little bit bad. But, pero ya sigue mejor. Are you better, Silvia? We're going to be writing in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But, uh, okay, no worries, you're fine. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Pero, pero si sí pudieron uh, utilizar esos de in, on, at, so you're good, están listos. You're super good. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Very good. Are you ready? Okay, super, super good. De hecho, ya vamos a regresar. We are coming back. So, I'll see you there. I'll see you in the middle.
paca chanel. Que bonito é mi Instagram. <risos> Hi, hi everyone. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, please, Isela, continue. <laughs> now go ahead. We need some music, you know, that makes us feel alive, I think. Just sing nicely, by the way. All right. So we are just waiting for three classmates. Okay. How was your practice? Tuvieron dificultades con in, on, at, o estamos super bien? Are we super, super good? Teacher, a mí no me ha quedado muy claro lo de la diferencia entre el in y el on. El in y el on. All right. So let me just go ahead and share my screen. Mm -hmm. Ok, remember, estamos hablando no de tiempo, sino que estamos, lugando, estamos hablando de lugares, right? So, el on, cuando utilizamos on, generally lo usamos para las calles. So, cuando usted quiera decir una calle, on, all right? For example, soy terrible con los nombres de calles en El Salvador. Me ayuden con los nombres, please. What, what uh, names of a street do you remember? Gabriela Mistral. Ok, Gabriela Mistral. Gabriela... Ay, por su nombre, ¿verdad? Right? Ajá, eso le iba a decir, solo por ella. No se puede otra. So tell me, ¿qué lugares en Gabriela Mistral? Tell me a place that is, like, que está en esta calle. Gas Station. Rubén Darío. Uh, ok, ok, ok. But, uh, díganme un lugar como de referencia. ¿Dónde está la Gabriela Mistral? So, ¿qué pueden encontrar acá? En la Gabriela Mistral. La Universidad Tecnológica. Really? Oh, no, 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 la Gabriela no. Mistral es la que está en los héroes por donde estaba el mundo feliz. Uh -huh. Ah, Entonces, ahí, ahí lo que hay, ahí pues lo que sí, hay es, es un larga. hotel. Motel y hay oh, restaurantes oh, también. Está el okay. restaurante Clau y Canela. ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es el restaurante? ¿Cuál es el no. nombre? En la Gabriela Mistral está Clau y Canela. Clau y Canela. No, no, no. no, no. no esa es la Sisimile. Ah, esa es la Sisimile. Ah, bueno, no importa, solo es un ejemplo. Solo es un ejemplo. Ahorita ya sí soy. Te lo voy a googlear. I'm going to google this one. No, Gabriela Mistral es la que estaba. Pero la Gabriela Mistral siempre está la Tectaco. De los sueño. héroes. Ah, huevo. Huevo. Colegio Cristóbal Colón. Ok. Let's, el let's... redondel del Cristóbal Colón. El redondel de los Torogos. No, ah, ahí Gabriela empieza. All right. No, ahí la Gabriela Mistral es por donde está la Puma. This is like between Texaco between y Puma. Between Texaco right? y Puma. Mm -hmm. okay. Sí, es cierto. Ay, tiene razón. No me mientan. No, no está, lo que pasa es que Gabriela Mistral es el huevo. Se me vino, huevo, ahí. Se but, me vino but, el edificio. Oh, but it's okay. Yeah, but, but it's okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at the example, all right? Imagínense que Clau Canela está en esta calle. Creería que es la siguiente, right? But Clau Canela is, y yo necesito un lugar de referencia. Como este es el nombre de la calle, I'm going to use on. Porque quiero decir, está sobre esta calle, right? So, Clau y Canela is on Gabriela Mistral. Is on Gabriela Mistral. And here, te puedo agregar street, right? Uh, so now I know, for example, que la Puma se está ahí. Entonces, oh, Puma is on Gabriela Mistral Street. So, siempre que hablamos de calles, yo voy a utilizar on, porque es como sobre, está sobre, sobre la avenida, sobre la calle. Alguien me dijo Rubén Darío, right? Rubén Darío, there is another street. So, ¿qué hay en la Rubén Darío? First, ¿cuál es la Rubén Darío? <laughs> Francisco. La Rubén Darío está el centro comercial donde era Simán, centro. La Rubén Pero hoy, hoy ah, se estamos llama. hablando del centro. Hoy oh. se llama. Sí, llega hasta el centro histórico. Ahí sí no me pueden apuñalar. El monumento que está ahí, el Simón Bolívar. Bon es Bolívar. el Rubén Darío, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. yeah. Ambas. Todas. Hasta Simón Catel, Bolívar. Hasta Simón Bolívar. Uh, monument, como estamos hablando de lugares, Simón Bolívar Monument, Monument is, y como es el nombre de la calle, on Rubén Darío Street. All right. So, eso es uno de los usos del on, estamos hablando de la calle, right? Avenidas también. All right. Now, in, ¿qué sucede con in? El in ya no es solo una calle, sino que el in habla de lugares 
de una forma más extensa. For example, in, ¿para qué lo puedo utilizar? ¿Se recuerdan del ejemplo? Do you remember? Yes, mm -hmm. países. Países, countries. Ciudades. Ajá. Lugares grandes. Ah, yes, countries, cities. Uh, how do you say pueblos? Town. Towns, exactly. So anything que sea muchísimo más grande, all right? Uh, so for example, uh, all right, for example, let me think about a place. Okay, eh, la puerta del diablo. La puerta del diablo. Uy, ya es francés. So la puerta del diablo es, pero yo no sé cómo se llama la calle, pero yo sí sé el nombre del, del lugar, right? Entonces no puedo utilizar on because it's not a street. So, la puerta del diablo is in. ¿A dónde está, guys? Where is it? Los planes de rendero. Planes de rendero. Son los planes de rendero. No es Panchimalco. Es Panchimalco, eh. Ok. So, no, la puerta no, no. del diablo. Let's say that is in los planes de rendero. Pero este lugar es mucho más grande que una calle, right? Entonces, es la diferencia de on y en. ¿Estamos bien? ¿Estamos bien? Okay? ok. Si mm -hmm. yo quiero decir, voy a, voy a viajar el fin de semana a San Miguel. Tiene que ser in San Miguel, ¿verdad? No, Milagros, porque ya no sería un lugar donde usted está, sino que me está diciendo voy a viajar a, entonces es diferente. Pero, mm -hmm. pero voy a utilizar su ejemplo. For example, I, I stay, <coughs> cuando usted dice me voy a quedar en San Miguel. So I stay. <coughs> San Miguel. Necesito una preposición de lugar, all right? Necesito algo acá para celebrar, para eh, separar. So, I stay on San, on San Miguel no puede ser porque no es un hotel. Ajá, entonces I stay in San Miguel. I stay, puedo ser también en, en un hotel, all right? I stay in a hotel. I stay in, ¿a dónde más me puedo quedar? En casa de, de un familiar. Uh -huh. I stay in my mother's house. I stay in my mother's house, etc. Y si es el nombre específico de un hotel, eh, dígame un hotel allá en San Miguel. I stay. Comfort in. Flor. Comfort, Comfort in. Okay. Comfort, Comfort in. Comfort in. All right. So, este es el nombre específico del hotel. Entonces, ¿qué voy uh -huh. a utilizar acá? I stay. At. 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 Comfort yes. in. Exactly. I stay at Comfort Inn, porque es bien específico. ¿Estamos bien? Are we all right? Yes. Yes. No tengan pena, chicos. Si tienen dudas, tell me. <laughs> We can clarify, all right? We can clarify. Menos de las direcciones, because I'm terrible at, at addresses. Okay, good. So, being said that, this is your opportunity to practice. I'm going to have volunteers. Tengo algún voluntario. Do I have any volunteer? Mm -hmm. No. La ruleta. Okay. Yeah, my, my beautiful roulette then. Ya voy a eh, salir. Bien. So, a mí ya me ya pasa milagros claro, porque ya sabemos que ella va a salir. No. Sí. Ok. Que dijera milagro. ¿Qué? Milagro. No. no. I can't believe it. Oh, ya Sandra. Uh, no, Sandra. We got someone uh. new. Someone new. So, Sandra. <laughs> uh, is in your group, Sandra? ¿Quién está en su grupo? Eh, yo, yo, <risa> voy a ser okay. Gabriel, milagro. No salí, pero salí en el grupo. <risa> milagro en um, Karen. Okay, milagro en Karen. Good, good girls. So go ahead, go ahead. We hear you. Bien. Eh, es, hello, my name is Beatriz Hernández. I am a teacher. I work in Fundación Escuela Hogar, Nuestros Pequeños Hermanos, which is located at kilómetro 77, Highway to Metapan. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Very nice. I believe that was like a self-introduction, como una presentación personal, right? Super, super good. That's a very good description. Eh, quizás solamente la palabra located. So located. It, is, it is located. So the school located. is located. Lo demás super bien. That was super, okay, super good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, okay. Let's, let's go for the roulette. 
Next person is, oh, Jeremiah, but Jeremiah is not here. So let me just go ahead one more time. Okay, let me select another person. And this is Francisco. Hey, Mr. Pineda, there you are. There you go. So is it a conversation, right? You were making some conversations. Francisco, you are in mute, I believe. Who is in your group? Francisco, can you with, hear me? With Wendy, yes. Oh, okay, sorry. No, no le escucho, no sé si mi inter se está trabando. Es el mío, es el mío. No, pero es que de hace ratito me está dando también. Okay, eh, so Wendy, okay, guys, so we hear you. Okay. Where do you work, Wendy? I, I work at Valdez Company. Where is you, Kelly? It is located on Paseo General Escalón next to a uh, Puma Gas Station around Fuentes Beethoven, specifically at Via Madrid in San Salvador. Uh, what about you? Where do you work? I am working at Eufa. Uh, where is located? My work is located in on Boulevard Constitución, next to Ferretería Lemus, at two blocks of Motel La Pradera in San Salvador. Okay. Ahí nadie se pierde, va. Solo dice la verdad. Va, estoy viendo. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the description. I heard more detailed description. I heard, for example, between. Okay. Very good. That was very nice. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Francisco. What is the name of the place you said? Eufa. Eufa. What is Así. that? What do you do? Eh, es vending. Nosotros distribuimos productos farmacéuticos. Mm, like medicine or like equipment? Medicine. Oh, okay. Is that a laboratory? No, más bien es distribución. Mm, okay, okay. Oh, that's new for me. Thank you. Uh -huh. And you said that is near Lemus. Yes, Ferretería Lemus. Where, where is Lemus? Is ferretería, no sé cómo se dice ferretería. Oh, uh, um, a hardware oh. store. Uh, hardware store. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write it in the chat. On, no, but my Boulevard, question is... on, on Boulevard Constitución. Ah, okay, okay. I gotcha. Hardware. Hardware store. So that's a ferretería. All right. Thank you. Very good description, guys. That was super good. And then one and last person of today, well, pair. This is going to be Isela. So Isela. <laughs> so you are the chosen one. Isela and Isaac, right? And Patricia. I mean, Caro was with you, right? Okay. Sí, pero Pati tiene problemas con el audio. Oh. Ella se le... mm -hmm. oh, no worries. It's okay. So mm -hmm. then with Isaac. Okay. Is... Pero nosotros hicimos una presentación. O sea, no lo hicimos así como... Como Francisco. Oh, yeah. No worries, okay. no worries. It's okay, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Hello, my name is Isela Funes. I have three years old. I work at food distributor. distributor. I would like to work at liquor store for sell wine. Located in San Salvador on a street, Mascota. That is Thank you. Okay, that's a very nice description. So you want to work at a liquor store. Liquor store. You want to work there. So I quiero trabajar. Yes. <laughs> to sell wine. Es que, es que estoy especializándome en vinos, entonces necesito nice. trabajar. Nice. Hey, that sounds super good. Okay, mm. so maybe not to sell, but to taste. <laughs> <laughs> so to take wine. All right, thank you. Isaiah, so you were with Isela. Let's listen to you. Isaac. Hey, uh, hello everyone. 
Uh, my name is Isaac. I am uh, 20 years old and currently work at Central Hidraulica. As a bag of and work, like to work at TCS, located on the corner of the small center of the Grand Bay. That is. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, um, Isaac. Yeah, yeah, Isaac. All right. Thank you. That was actually pretty nice. What is the name of your company? Where do you work? Central Hidraulica. Okay, Central Hidraulica. Uh, I don't know why, but I got the idea que venía de Valdez. So, who comes from Valdez? That Silvia? No. 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 Wendy. Ah, Francisco. Ah, Francisco. Francisco. Wendy, do you come from Valdez too? No, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. So Wendy, all right. Yeah, I remember that four or five came from Valdez. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. Very good. So vamos a terminar with the next activity. This chat. And here we have this. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. So this is pretty much your work. So vamos a hacer una. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con writing. All right. In sentences. So this is my favorite place. Quiero que piensen. All right. Cuando no hay cuarentena, obviously. ¿Cuál es su lugar favorito? What's your favorite place? Um, and we are going to give like a brief description de por qué les gusta, all right? My favorite place is, for example, <laughs> my favorite place is the police station because I feel safe. I don't know. <laughs> my favorite place is the pub. A pub is un bar. My favorite place is, díganme el nombre de un bar. Tell me the name of a bar. La taberna. La taberna, all right. Y se le sabe más, you know. La, la 20, la tecle. Niña. La herradura. Es parte del trabajo, you know. Exacto, exacto. So, okay, for example, my favorite place is, eh, nunca había escuchado de ellas, así que es la taberna. My favorite place is la taberna because, ¿por qué Francisco? Because, ¿qué hay ahí? Con el rock medieval y... O sea, pone rock clásico más que todo. Okay, Por eso. so my favorite place is La Taberna because of the type of music. So because I can listen to rock. Okay, super Solo good. Eso. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I want you to, to say the place, okay, in a, in a brief description. In personally, my favorite place is maybe the library. No, no, no. Maybe the bookstore. I like La Casita en la, ¿cómo se llama la otra? La Casita en, oh, la Ceiba. en La Ceiba. Exactly. So my favorite place is a bookstore because I love reading. So I like La Ceiba en La Casita because I can see a lot of books. And that's awesome. Super, super cool. So, escojamos un lugar y hagamos una descripción rapidito de por qué. Why? My favorite place is because. You can be very specific. Pueden ser bien específicos about the place and the reason why you like it. I'll give you three minutes. Mm.
one more minute. So if you finished, tell me, please. Don, finish. Yes, I, I yeah, 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 yeah. yes. Yes. Three. Okay. Thank you. So we are just going to wait for the others. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? ¿Me escucha? Thank you, Wendy. Hola. Yes, yes, me lero. ¿Cómo se pro eh, la pronunciación de esta palabra? La, saz la sazón mm. de la comida. Se se seasoning. Seasoning. Oh. Mm -hmm. seasoning. Seasoning. Or, okay. yeah. Or, there is another word that you can use. And this is taste. So, I like the food because of the taste. Como el sabor. Mm. So you can use seasoning, all right? Or oh, el taste. Oh, okay. The taste of the food. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Did you have dinner? I like the seasoning of the food. The seasoning. seasoning uh -huh, of the seasoning the of food. the food. La sazón de la yeah. comida. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, everybody. So, quiero escucharlos a todos. I mm -hmm. want to listen to everybody. Because creo que por ahí se me han quedado unos que no los he escuchado ahora. So, super rapidito, like super, super quick. Tell me, what is your favorite place and why? So, nos vamos hasta que todos terminen. Así que, let's go, let's go. Volunteers, who wants to go first? Yo. Yo. Good. Quien termina la... primero se desconecta. Uh. No, no. <laughs> Vaya, está la, bien. Dice la first milagro second. Dice la go. Okay. You're terrible. <laughs> My favorite place is church because I feel that me, I renew everything forget for forgot gotten forgotten uh huh forgotten. that's it okay super thank you thank you so the church thank you thank you thank you Milagro you go second uh, my favorite place is restaurant Clau y Canela because I like the season of the food and the atmosphere and it's cheap. Nice, very good description. So Clavo Canela, thank you, two. Clavo Canela, church. Next, three. Who goes next, 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 next? Gracias, Madeline. Thank you, Wendy, go. Uh, my, favorite, my favorite play is Cinepolis Cinema. Okay. Because I like to watch movies and eat nachos, popcorn, and smoothies. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. Very good description, Wendy. Uh, Edith, I, I go with you. Uh, oh, then okay. After Edith. Uh -huh. My favorite place is shorts because I can pray, sign praises, and share with my group. Nice. Okay, so I got two churches. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Madeline, you go. Yo solo iba a decir que Wendy leyó lo mismo que yo puse. No. No, go. Say it one more time. Le di copia. Sí, my favorite place is Cinepolis because I love watch movies and like to eat popcorns there. And I and they have a VIP room. Oh, I didn't know. I wonder where where is the VIP room? Yes, in Cinepolis. Okay, I didn't know. No, but you said popcorns and Wendy said nachos. So nachos. It's different. El VIP no se levanta el brazo. 
Y queda como sofá. Ah, queda acostado. Sí. Queda acostado. Uh, all right. I can't remember. I don't tiene, remember. Servicio a, tiene servicio, digamos, como de meseros. Nice. Next time, en unos tres años que vaya, I will know. <laughs> I'm not planning to go soon. Thank you. Christian, you go next. Okay, and my favorite place is our restaurant Diamante de China. Okay. Because the Chinese food is very delicious, the variety of sauce are really amazing. Nice. Okay, Diamante de China. Thank you very much. Uh, Isaac, I go with you. Isaac, today is the bad man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have a favorite place. Uh, my favorite place is a uh, park uh, because okay. I want to take the uh, photos and um, white and little. Oh, but it's okay. I mean, the park is fine. That is. Love the park. Thank you, Isaac. That's pretty good. Uh, Sandra, I'm coming with you. My favorite place is coffee because uh, here I, I can read my book. Mm, okay, nice. Okay, very good. So a cafe. Uh, Murcia, Mr. Murcia, I'm coming with you. Um, bueno, my favorite place is a uh, train station because I like to see the people their face, attitudes, and actions. And I remember the history of my country. Like the train, like the train station, Fede Sal, Fede something Sal, the one that is near sal. Tendona, that one, the one that is near Tendona. Next to Exal. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay, I have never been there, nunca he ido al, al trencito. But it sounds good. Caro, I'm coming with you. My favorite. No, wait, wait, wait. Eh, la puso en mute. <laughs> no, ella tiene un problema. Ah, con el internet, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. sí, pero es bien raro, se le pausa, se le quita, se le pone sin que ella presione nada. Ah, ok. Yeah, maybe the internet is not working. Puede escribirlo. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Teacher. Ready, Caro? My favorite no. is. My favorite play is Kauran Pixel eh, because the food is the least. Okay, so you. <laughs> Solo la canción. So, sorry, uh -huh. Caro. Sorry, Caro. Le escuchamos solo la mitad. And then it, it went mute. Se fue otra vez en mute. So, nos manda el audio en WhatsApp. No worries. You can send the, the WhatsApp para que también practicamos pronunciation. <laughs> Yasira, Yasira, go for it. My favorite place is uh, Star Wars. I like it cappuccino. Nice. Okay. So I really like cappuccino. I, I love coffee, you know. So nice. That sounds super good. Thank you. Diana, I'm coming with you. Um, I think you're mute. Yeah. My, fav my favorite place is Sushi Ken restaurant because I love sushi. Okay, sushi can restaurant. All right, thank you. Francisco, I'm missing you, Francisco. And I'm missing Doris too. And okay. Ya todos lo dijeron, Wendy y, y Madeline ya lo dijeron. Pero no. no. <laughs> well, okay. It's a better my, place. Okay, my favorite place is Cinemark because I, I watch the new movies, then I have my dinner. Ah, okay, okay. So you have nachos and you have poker in your game. <laughs> I think I prefer Netflix in my house. So. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Uh, Doris, I'm missing you. You are, my, you are my last person. I don't know if Doris is here. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, everybody finished, right? Everybody passed. Sylvia is not able to, okay? And I'm having issues with Carolina. All right, so thank you everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Eh, terminamos esta semana. Mañana vamos con Deris and Derar.
vamos a trabajar un poquito de direcciones, que es un tema bien importante. Yo no sé si alguna vez viajan, o si alguna vez alguien se le acerca y le dice, mire, ¿cómo llego a este lugar? Eh, al menos vas a ver de decirle, mire, vayas a la izquierda o a la derecha, right? So, es bien importante, chicos, no, no me vayan a faltar, please, don mis clases, aparte que, que ya es como lo último, right? So, we are in the last week, y terminamos el día viernes, hoy, módulo 1, podemos decir terminado casi, you know. So, chicos, nos vemos mañana, see you tomorrow, have a good night, enjoy it, sleep well, bye bye. Teacher, teacher. Bye. Hi, Milagro. Antes, antes de que se vaya, le quiero hacer una pregunta. Dígame, pregúnteme. Cuando usted dice take a look, ¿qué quiere decir? Take a look. Sí, eso. Vea, ponga atención. Ajá, so ah. échale un vistazo. Hey, take a look. Ajá, so ¿Cómo se escribe? Me lo deletrea, porfa. Se lo escribo en el chat segundo para ah, que le quede. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. so, so take a look. Take a look. Lo que pasa es que a veces el sonido se une, entonces decimos take a, no take a. Okay. Ah, no lo separamos. But it's take a look. Uh -huh. Okie doki. Gracias. ¿Y cuánto dice toki toki? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuánto dice toki toki? <ríe> Eso no sé. <ríe> Okie doki. No, to <ríe> Okie doki. <ríe> no toki toki. <ríe> Pero me entendió, teacher. <ríe> es, es un refresco. Teacher, ¿y por qué no, teacher, ¿y por qué no, no veo aquí en el chat lo que escribió? Ay, lo siento, lo siento, Milagro, le estoy escribiendo en otro lado. Toki, toki. Ay, no. O el TikTok. No, bueno, que me entendió, teacher. Ah. No, okie okay, dokie, okay. lo que sucede es que hay varias formas de decir ok, entonces usted pues, puede decir ok, puede decir ok, pero hay una que es como más usada, que es okie okay, dokie, okay. es como ok, pero mucho más... No sé, más juvenil quizás, más informal. So, okidoki. So, uh, yes. vas a hacer esto, okidoki. <ríe> no es el TikTok. <ríe> Ay, es okidoki. That's okay. Ajá, otra forma de decir ok. So, bye, everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Okidoki. Aquí. Bye. bye. bye.